Oh my god, what is my hair? Ew. Hello. I'm packing to go home from my dorm. I'm packing up my dorm. Oh my god, I can't get over my hair. And uh, I thought I'd take you along with me. Should I do like an unofficial dorm tour? Because there's no way I'm going to make it look nice right now. I've already emptied a lot of stuff and I'm packing. Let's do it. Out here. This be the door right here to my suite. Hello door. You get trash cans, which is nice. And then so you go in the door and then you go around the corner. This isn't how all suites are, but we're uh, the corner suite at the very end of the hall. So this is one of them. Um, and this is a two double suite. So let's just, there's one door. That's one person's room, except nobody lives there right now. And then that's our room this space obviously I'm taking it up because I'm packing but then here's the kitchen and it's a mess oh my god I'm so sorry but we have dishes that we're trying to clean and, uh, and do before we leave and pack it up and then some food to survive on for the next few days and then a bunch of cabinets and stuff and then the fridge got a nice big fridge and a freezer Let's see freezer food do you like my ice cream top of the fridge some more cabinets over here. I have a toaster oven, but I don't think you're technically supposed to. And then here's the bathroom, which is kind of weird that it's like right next to the kitchen. Semi bothers me, but it hasn't been so bad. And shower, love it. And sink and toilet paper on top of the toilet and the trash and the toilet paper thing. So you get toilet paper from the RA office actually here, but it's really shitty and we have to buy paper towels. So it's just kind of like a mess around here right now because we're packing and trying to get everything ready. But that's the actual suite. And then here's the actual room. This is my roommate's side. I don't really want to show her stuff because she doesn't know, but here's my side. Here's my little closet though obviously comes with the room. There's shoes down there right now and all of my stuff is taken out of it. Why is this camera not focusing? And then I put a bunch of stuff up there. My lights go around here. So all my stuff, here's the bed. And then you have a bunch of under bed space. Um, along with, they also give you these two drawers. They give you that uh, chest of thing. That's three drawers. There's one right here. I could just show you that's easier. Yep. So you get two of those and then you get a desk also and a chair because you have to have somewhere to sit. I'm so sorry that it's so messy. And then there's an AC thingy right there. This is mine. I brought this. I have to pack that up and also all the stuff that I have on top of here. I bought this and built this by myself, this little TV stand thingy. So yeah, I'm watching Monster-in-Law. Kind of a weird place to be paused on the movie, but I love this movie, so yeah, I'm watching that as I pack. And here's my tapestry that I got on Amazon for like 12 bucks. It's really nice. And then out the window, we just have this. This room is at the back of the building, and this is like, there's a courtyard down there. That's not it, but it's down there. That's it right down there. Here are a few people outside and cars and whatnot, but for the most part, it's pretty great because my first room, if you didn't know, I switched rooms. I was in a triple and then I moved into this double with my friend. But my first room was awful because it was on the street and it was so loud all the time. There were dogs barking in the park across the street at like 6 o'clock in the morning through the entire morning and it was so irritating and I hated it. Okay, I'm gonna keep packing because this might die soon and I need to finish my movie also. That's a priority. So yeah. This is actually Quinn's. She left it in here. I don't know why, but we went to see Chris Evans on Good Morning America. It's currently 526. So early. Inception vlog. <laughs> I'm so tired. What's it? It's 5.30. I am sick. And the things I do for this boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, what time is it? I don't know. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. <laughs> and I'm shivering. And Chris isn't out here yet. And we've been here for like three hours. I don't like even know if he's here yet. I look like an Eskimo. Look at Kim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Janet Jackson might be pregnant. We were giving gifts. And I got this, but it flips. Oh my god, that's good to say. 
If you don't know, we're both obsessed with Marvel slash Chris Evans and Sebastian Stan. We stalked Chris Evans after he appeared on the show. We were there since 5 a.m. and only got to see him for like 20 minutes and we stalked him after because he was gonna like sign stuff and take pictures with people. So here's my things. He touched this because he signed this one, my team cap thing. That's his signature. <laughs> I don't know why he couldn't sign like on the blue where I could see it, but it's there, Chris Evans. But yeah, see, so Quinn had the one with Chris on it and this is Tony. They gave me this one because they didn't have any more Chris ones or whatever, but it's okay, he touched it, so I'm not ever getting rid of it. 